Hi and welcome to the tutorial on the advanced shape layer. So the first thing I want to do is show you a couple of things I've added previously. I've added a MOLA map so that I could see how the elevation changed in my main view and that's this colorized map that you see in the background. I've also gone up to add a new layer and added a shape layer and you can see in my main view that I've added some points, polygons, and circles. So now I want to show you how to do map sampling. We're going to double click our custom shape layer and we're going to go to features, edit columns, and just like in the previous tutorial we're going to add a column. This time it's going to be called standard deviation and the type we're going to pull it down and look for map sampling. Press add column and here you'll see a couple different options that you need to fill out in order for it to work. Under value you want to make sure that it says map sampling and then you can pick a map that you want to do. I actually have already chosen elevation on a couple other columns that I've added so I'm going to keep it the same. You can change your PPD as well as your statistic. So because I named it standard deviation I'm going to click it and change it to standard deviation. And I want to make sure that this updates all rows is selected and press OK. And we're going to dock this because we're going to use it a lot. And you'll see here that the standard deviation column was added. And it actually updated all the different points, lines, and polygons that I already had in my main view. One nice thing about this is if you go to your main view and add points, lines, or polygons, you'll see that as I add polygons, my table adds that polygon and then updates it with the standard deviation. So you don't have to recalculate anything. So we'll go to circles and add a couple circles and you'll see it adds it and then it calculates it. So we're going to move our standard deviation over here and these are the columns that I previously added. The min elevation, max elevation, and the average elevation. I added these the same way as I did for the standard deviation. So now that we have all these points, lines, and polygons, I'm going to show you how to do a lookup table. Go to Features, Edit Columns, and we're going to name this Range. And you're going to go to type and you're going to look for lookup table. A lookup table is a nice way of categorizing everything. Add column. So we can pick a field that it's based off. We're going to do average elevation. And then you pick what type of lookup table you want to do. We're going to do color. Press create. Now in our average elevation column, we're going to put in various elevation levels that we want to categorize. So we want 0 to 500 and 500 to 1,000. You can add any values you want. And, you want to, and now you want to pick colors for each of those elevation types. So before we leave here, we want to go to the lookup area and under operation, you're going to click it. And here you can choose a couple of different ways of categorizing your colors. For this purpose, we're just going to pick this one. And we want to make sure update all rows is selected and then press OK. Now we're going to go back over to our columns and look for our column range. And you'll see under range that it has our color coordinations. So you'll notice that in our main view that everything is still red and white outline. In order for it to adopt that column, we have to go to Features, Edit Styles, and we're going to go over to our Fill Polygons, and we want to base it off our Range column, so we're going to click Range, 
and press save. And now you'll see that everything has changed colors according to our column. So just like the standard deviation, you don't need to update anything. It does it already for you. The last thing I want to show you is how to apply mathematical manipulations or queries based on your columns. So to do that, we're going to go back into Edit Columns and we're going to create a new column. And we're going to name this range to Type Real Number, Add Column. We're going to update all rows, press OK. And now we want to go up to Scripts, Edit Script. And here it gives you an area where you can enter an SQL query. So we're going to show how to change the range to column to a certain number. So for to start off, we're going to put update, set range to, that's the name of our column, is equal to 7. Then go to run, run it, and it'll tell you that all your rows have updated. So now we're going to go look for range 2, and you can see here that everything's updated to 7. So now we're going to try something a little bit more complicated, and we're going to put our min elevation times 2. Go to run. And now you'll see that it's taken the min elevation column and multiplied it by 2. So the last query is going to show how to select different rows in different columns. So for example, if you want all the rows with a certain elevation, then we can put select the rows where the min elevation is less than 2,000. And min elevation is greater than a thousand. And then select run. And you can see that over in our columns, it selected all of the different rows that meet that qualification. Well, that's it for the advanced shape layer. Thanks for joining me.